Are you a woman over 40? Here are three yoga poses you can do every day to keep you strong, flexible, and mobile. Now I'm guessing you don't have a ton of time to do yoga, but today I'm gonna share just three super simple yoga poses that you can do every day to keep you strong, flexible, and mobile. So the first one is cat cow. I'm gonna do it on the floor first, and then I'm gonna show a standing variation that you can do if you don't wanna get down on the floor. So again, as always, please move mindfully, and if it doesn't feel good, just don't do it. If you don't know me, I'm Karen from Karen Yoga Life. I'm a certified yoga teacher and wellness coach. And don't forget to subscribe, I really appreciate it. All right, here we go. So we're gonna come down onto the floor, onto hands and knees, and if you need some extra padding under the knees, like I do, I like to use a blanket under my knees to protect them. So you can use a blanket, you can use a cushion. You're just gonna bring something under the knees. I'll just use one. All right, so we're gonna bring our knees onto the blanket. We're gonna bring our hands underneath our shoulders and we are in tabletop position. So you wanna spread the fingers, press the fl floor away, engage your core, and we are gonna be moving our spine. So please take time, see how it feels for you. So here we go, inhale, dropping the belly, take your chest forward, arching the back. Exhale, rounding the spine, pressing the floor away. Moving with your breath, inhale, arching, Exhale, rounding. Keep going a few more times. Inhale, arching. Exhale, rounding. Super simple cat-cow, really great to do for our backs every day. Let's do one more. Come back to neutral. Okay, so that was cat cow, really great for our spine, helps to keep our spines nice and mobile. Also strengthens the arms and the shoulders. Let me know if you felt that in your arms and your shoulders. <laughs> I know I do. Okay, so the second pose is plank pose, full body strengthener, strengthens pretty much the whole body again, really works the core, arms, hands, shoulders, legs, feet, lots going on. All right, so for our plank pose, hands back underneath the shoulders, step back one foot at a time. You can also do this on your forearms. So we're here, really press the floor away, press your heels back, pull the belly in, shoulders right over the wrists. Imagine pulling your upper arm bones together. We're gonna stay here for a count of 10. If you can't hold it for 10, just hold it for as long as you can meaning five breaths, three breaths, here we go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Awesome, bring the knees down and lift the torso. So plank pose, quickie, strengthens the whole body. If you could do a plank a couple times a week or every day, great for your entire body. So the last pose I like to do for my hips, my hips tend to get tight because I sit a lot. So we want to stretch our hip flexors, stretch our hips daily if possible. So here we go. Super simple. We're just going to come up onto the knees. Again, have something under the knees. Take your right foot forward. So we want to think about the pelvis slightly underneath us. We're not sticking it out. We're here. Can bring the hands onto the hips. And we're gonna walk this front foot forward a little bit. So you see I'm just scooting my front foot forward. And then just let the hips move towards the floor. So we're gonna just stay here, hang out here for a couple breaths. Lots of different variations we could do here, but we're just gonna keep it simple today. Aiming to stretch these hip flexors. Let's stretch the hip flexors here. Let's stay for two more breaths. One more. And actually, let's throw in one more. Let's throw in one more. It's, it's a quickie. We're just going to pull the hips back. We're going to stretch out that right leg. Keep the hips square. So pull the 
right hip back and we're just going to hinge from the waist hinge from the waist you're going to start to feel a stretch in the hamstring really nice stretch in the hamstring you can flex this right foot staying here again we want to hold these poses for i would say a minimum of five breaths anywhere up to a minute is good and then we're gonna come back up bring the foot down hands down and change sides so let me use my blocks and i'll show you a cool thing to do with the blocks on this next side so we're gonna bring this left foot forward same thing hands on the hips walk your foot forward nice straight back pelvis slightly tucked underneath you and it's just a little movement allowing the hips to move down to the floor so again let's see if we can stay here for five breaths four breaths three breaths two breaths feeling it i hope hopefully it feels good one breath and then we're pulling the hips back we're stretching out this front leg and we're hinging forward i'm going to show you with blocks what you can do with blocks here really nice so you're going to just have your blocks in your hand as you hinge forward just put the blocks on the floor right underneath the shoulders so really nice to just hang out here on your blocks especially if you can't go super far i love foam blocks i find them the most sturdy and there are actually links in my description if you're interested in foam blocks but you don't have to have them they're just nice lots of heights so you can go down a little more just want to keep the hands right under the shoulders i love my blocks and then take your time come back up you can use your blocks again to help you back up and then you are back where we started so i hope you enjoyed these three yoga poses you can do daily please let me know if you have any questions in the comments let me know if you'd like to see any other videos like this really love hearing from you and really appreciate your subscribing to my channel hope to see you here again soon take care bye